Yes, my people, it's your boy Jangs, and we're back with another video. And this time, we're going to take a look at the World Cup and my best 11 or team of the World Cup so far. As per usual, let me know your thoughts in the comment. Like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get into it. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm going to start off with the back five. Obviously, you can see that I'm on Akimi at the moment, who I think has been the best right back, hands down. Like, he's been that clear of everyone. I don't even have an honourable mention to put next to him. So, he's one of three players who I think, no matter what happened in this round now that's coming up, the quarters, they've got to be in the team at all costs team of the tournament in my eyes and then for me was probably the easiest choice when it comes to picking the four defenders right and for me this guy Thiago Silva has been immense he's been by far yeah the best center back at this World Cup it's not even close right he's 38 the guy is 38, playing in a World Cup, yeah, where all these so-called pundits claim that the game's moved along and defenders and midfielders can only play to a certain age, even though Modric, Thiago Silva and Pepe keeps telling them you're talking absolute nonsense, right? Because some of you's retired because you didn't take care of your body. That's different. But I'm not going to stray from the point. I'm going to stick to it. And the only honourable mention... Next to Thiago Silva was Varane. These are, in my opinion, from the games I watched. And I do put bet builders on individual players' performance. So I do have a, a bit of knowledge on the in-depth performance of each player's. Right. So for me, no matter what, he's been like the best defender. And then the next one is Pepe, who's 39. Right. Pepe is 39, and before I get on to Pepe, there's one thing I'm going to say, and i always been saying it from day one, yeah? Thiago Silva is a better centre-back than that fail right-back Sergio Ramos, who's had 23 red cards, right? He's not even close, he's miles ahead of him, better defender, better on the ball, better leader, and once this 39-year-old Pepe left Real Madrid, you've seen how pathetic Ramos was, and you know what, pathetic is too strong of a word, because it was a good centre back but he's nowhere near the level of these two and it's evident to see All right but you let me know that's my back five i don't even need to mention allison away from i understand everything away from that 118 par no tash that he tried to bring in the first two games someone must have had the word because he's cut it off but we keep it moving allison he's been flawless this tournament so far yes let me do I don't need to say anything about Cancelo because hands down the best left back in the world at this moment in time. Good going forward and same going backwards. Good on the ball. He's just a solid player. So for me, that's my back five. If you agree with it, let me know in the comment. If you don't, still let me know in the comment. Because I don't. if you've been watching the World Cup, there's no way you're going to tell me that's not them players has not been the best five at the back. And I'm not going to say just five. I'm going to put six. Yeah, because Casimiro has been elite. And the guy is elite. He's an animal. He's an absolute animal, bro. A general of the midfield holding player. And the only one, like I said, in stats that I would put next to him, or just in performance by just watching the game, that could go there as an honourable mention, in my opinion, is De Jong. Can you go and see how many... Challenge De Jong's one and how many recoveries made because he's oh bro. I keep thinking, imagine United did have De Jong and Casemiro. Oh my days, it'd be silly, absolute silly. So so far, they're my team. That's my team. You call that a back six or the defensive six, <clears throat> right? I'm just going off performances and what I see with my own eyes. The two centre mid for me, it was kind of close, right? Because you could have had the two honourable mention, like I'm saying, you've got Modric, you could have gone in there 
instead of Bruno. But I just think Bruno has been way more important to his team than Modric and has provided more, scored more goals, more assists. He's just more effective. And he's not going to take out Casemiro, who's absolutely elite. Don't think he's played or set a foot wrong in this game, in this tournament. I've not seen him in a bad game. I've not seen him done anything wrong. And then the next one for me is England's golden boy. See this guy here? Monster. Jude Bellingham's a monster. And the Senegal game proves that he is actually the guy in England. He's no but Saka, very industrial, back and forward, offers you the same he does attacking wise as he does defensive wise for a winger. But Jude Bellingham is the driving force in England. I watched that game against Senegal and for 25, 30 minutes, England was pathetic. Absolute pathetic. And the only shining light they had was Jude Bellingham. Even when he won the tackles, yeah, bro, he was breaking. He was running past guys. Jude Bellingham is doing what I wanted Pogba to do at United. Let's just put it that way. The guy's a beast because there was nobody you can cope. You can try and mention your Phil Folding and your... Harry Kane tried to be Brexit FC, yeah. But Jude Bellingham and Saka are the guys in England without a shadow of a doubt. And Jude Bellingham, like I said, no matter even if England do go out against France, he is the second player. And the third one was Thiago Silva. Them three players, no matter what, Akimi, Thiago Silva and Jude Bellingham, no matter what, yeah, at the end of the World Cup, them three has to be in team of the year. It's not even close, mate. They have to be in team of the year because they've been on job. Jude Bellingham is 19 and he's absolutely tearing up every team he plays. Even when England's pathetic, Jude Bellingham is not. And like Saka, I already said on a bit of I already said a bit about Saka. Well, Saka is only 19, 20 as well, and he's doing it constantly for club and country. And the fact that you still have some Brexit FC fans questioning his selection, it's a joke. But we all know what it is, bro. You got that Sudanese skin tone. I ain't as scared to say it. The, on the honourable mention for Sako is Cody Gakpo. There's also Zaicha, Morocco. But I just think Cody Gakpo might just edge it. As an honourable mention for me, but he wouldn't get in over Sako because Sako has been playing for his team and he's been affected. In my opinion, Cody Gakpo has not been affected for his team. He has got, he has had two chances and he had finished them, but beyond that, he's done nothing. He's done fuck all. So Sako will will remain in right wing for me. Neymar ain't even questioning Neymar. I'm not even questioning Neymar. And you know there's Messi and that, but. They don't get in the team of the year so far for me because the first two, three games, Messi was just walking about. Yes, he scored goals and that, but we've got to keep to the facts. And the fact is Neymar is the guy at this moment in time. Which is why there's no other honourable mention. You could put Vinicius Jr., but I don't think Vinicius Jr. has been as deadly or he's nowhere near doing what I expect him to do anyway. But then again, like I say, he's only 20. So next World Cup will probably be his time. Yeah. And then we have up front. We already know who the striker is, but there was actually another two honourable mention. And one of them's on the bench in Richarlison. And the other one would have been Olivier Giroud. And beyond that, if Ecuador had got to the knockout stages, Valencia would have been in with a mention because he was tremendous in the first three games I've seen him. But it's not a question, mate. Leading, world, leading goal scorer, unstoppable. And I don't know what Gary Lineker is smoking, yeah? Saying that Kyle Walker is the only one that can catch him up. Kyle Walker got smoked off Saar, right? Saar ain't nowhere near as quick as Mbappe. So let's just leave that. But I will give Kyle Walker his credit. He's just coming back from injury. And if it's an hamstring, you know how it is when it's sprinting. So that would be my team. What do you, the midfield? Like, do you agree with the midfield? Let me know, man. Like, leave your comment if you agree with the midfield. I don't think anybody can deny that they're 
that that's the best front three at this World Cup. I don't think anyone can deny that. And I think I'm going to say 70% of people will agree with me on that back five if you have been watching the World Cup and nobody, no one is replacing Casemiro in that position because he's, like I'm saying, elite, bro. I'm still laughing at them United fans that were saying he can't pass because <laughs> he came on for a couple of 20 minutes trying to get into the game. It's pathetic, mate. We keep it moving. But that's my team of the tournament so far. If you agree with me, leave a like on the video. If you don't, let me know in the comment who you would replace. And I'll see you on the next video, people.